What's up guys, D's here, and I'm here to sound off on the Royal Rumble just like everyone else, but the difference between mine and everyone else's that I've seen so far, so if obviously if you're not a part of this bandwagon, then it's not directed towards you, but everyone is ranting and raving about the Royal Rumble and how awful it was, and mostly the Royal Rumble match, because if you think any of the other matches were bad, then you're crazy. The triple threat match was amazing. Um, like everything about Royal Rumble to me was perfect. I loved it. But you know what? I'm gonna skip everything else. I could review the whole thing. I like everything else. That's pretty much all I'm gonna say for everything else. I'm gonna move on to what the hot topic of the day is, and that is the Royal Rumble. Hashtag cancel WWE Network is trending worldwide. I don't know if it currently is. I know it was trending worldwide last night right after the Royal Rumble. And I don't understand why. I understand why you guys did it, but I don't understand why you think that way. You guys, and again, this isn't directed towards everybody, but the guys that have made this the thing and the people that are going on YouTube and they have every right to their opinion, but so do I. They got on, and they've sounded off about how terrible it was and everything like that. But if you think about it, last year, you asked for this. WWE is simply giving you what you wanted. Last year, you guys did not want Batista, the guy who had not been there pretty much the entire year, to come back and win it all. I'm a Daniel Bryan fan, and I have the Daniel Bryan hoodie to prove it. I'm there yes chanting all the way with you guys, but he has not been here pretty much the majority of this year. Yes, it's because of inner, in, blah, 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 injury. Can't talk. Sorry, it's a very heated topic. Because of injury. But he would be doing the same thing as Batista. He would come back after missing almost the entire year and winning the Royal Rumble. What you guys didn't want to happen last year. I don't understand why you guys are so upset about this. The surprise entrance, everything. Everything about the Royal Rumble I was marking out. When Stardust turned against Goldust. And they kind of started brawling. I loved it. Because then it gave me a sign that most likely at WrestleMania 31, we're going to see Stardust or just Cody Rhodes. Hopefully just Cody Rhodes versus Goldust. That is awesome to me. Surprise entrance like Bubba Ray Dudley. No one, or obviously everybody leaked all this information and everything like that, but if there was no such thing as SE Scoops, Wrestling Zone, any of those websites, you guys would have been so shocked when Bubba Ray Dudley is. I still was, and I thought, and I pretty much knew he was going to show up. When I heard his music drop and he came walking out, I was just hoping that that next one was going to be Devon Dudley. It wasn't unfortunate, but we still got to see those spots. Zack Ryder returning. I'm a huge Zack Ryder fan. You may or may not like him. Everyone else sees him as a jobber. I see potential in the kid. I think that WWE has more with Zack Ryder than what they're using. He's a very talented athlete. When he came out there and he started beating on Bray Wyatt, I actually thought for a split second that he was going to eliminate Bray Wyatt. It was going to be the big shock of the Royal Rumble. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. He hit a few of his spots. He hit the broski boot, and then he gets thrown out by Bray Wyatt. But he at least made a return. He at least showed in that ring that he can do pretty much anything he can actually put his mind to. Moving on, DDP. DDP came out there and diamond cuttered everyone in sight. Awesome. Marking out. DDP is an old, old guy right now. I mean, he's not like 90 or anything, but he's like at least... I would say 40, 50 years old, he's up there with The Undertaker, and he's still out there doing his thing and doing it well. Like, I don't understand what you guys are seeing about the Royal Rumble you don't like. Roman Reigns. Oh, no, hold up. Let me go back. You guys are complaining because Curtis Axel was taken out by Eric Rowan. Think of what we got out of that. We got Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, and Bray Wyatt in a three-way. That, to me... Screams possible triple threat at WrestleMania 31 or in the near future. That would be awesome. So, WrestleMania 31. Let me go ahead before I go to the end that everyone's so mad about. 
Let's talk about WrestleMania 31. WrestleMania 31 is so far looking like Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, John Cena versus Rusev, uh, Cody Rhodes versus Goldust, maybe Miz Dow versus Miz. That would be awesome. I I don't get it. And then if we throw a triple threat in there and it's Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan in a triple threat, that's even better. You guys are getting what you wanted. You wanted the future. You wanted no more of the past. Daniel Bryan, yes, he had a great year last year. No doubt about it. WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 30 rather, I was there in the stadium when he won both of his matches. And me and Quantrix were going crazy. We loved it. It was his year. But he has not been here the majority of the year, so obviously that's why he didn't win. Dolph Ziggler, yes, I'm a little upset that he didn't win, but I understand that he still has some left in him. He still does. Dolph Ziggler, obviously, they don't want to put him back in the title hunt just yet. They've obviously given him some time. He's like promo guy every week, this and that and this and that, and they love it. They love Dolph Ziggler, or they would have already gotten rid of him. Hell, he dropped a freaking pipe bomb aimed towards CM Punk the other night. So they love him because they're going against CM Punk. But now let's go to the end. Let's go to the end. I'm ranting. I'm raving. Whatever. Let's go to the end. The end. You got Rusev, who we everybody thought was eliminated. But he was actually never went over the top rope. Everyone knew it. Roman Reigns. Kane. Big Show. Kane and Big Show start going at each other. Roman Reigns eliminates both of them. Roman Reigns has not been declared the winner yet, but everyone knows that, he, or everybody thinks he won. Except for everybody who actually paid attention to Royal Rumble and saw Roos wasn't eliminated. That's just me. Then The Rock's music hit. The Rock's music, come, he comes out there and he lays a smackdown on Big Show, he lays a smackdown on Kane, and it's just that awesome family moment that everyone saw and everyone loved. Or so I thought. Then Rusev come back in. And I don't know if you guys were expecting him to just like throw Roman Reigns out and it ruin his big moment. Yes, that would have been cool. But it didn't happen. But everyone, and I speak for everyone, who is mad at the Royal Rumble that I've heard so far is mad because Daniel Bryan didn't win it. I don't understand. I really don't. Tista came back last year and won the Royal Rumble, and everybody was pissed. There's no pleasing you guys. There really isn't. And then to have canceled WWE Network trending, you guys are idiots. If they canceled WWE Network, then you go back to paying $60 or $50 for every pay-per-view. Or you have to go find some bootleg copy online that will probably get pulled down right about the time you get to the main event. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to rant, and I'm not going to rant on this all day. But the WWE Network is $9.99, and I'm not trying to do a cheap plug or anything, but it's $9.99, and it, you get everything. You have, like, series, you have pay-per-views, you have everything for $9.99. That's it. $10 a month. That's about as much as you spend on a freaking McRap meal at McDonald's or a Whopper whole large meal at Burger King. Like, seriously, I don't understand, but like I said, I'm not ranting on this all day. If you guys want to see more of this, me just basically giving my opinion, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment down below. If you want to debate, by all means, plead your case, comment section below, free speech on my channel. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Later.